Sustained rain fell overnight in the Honduran city of San Pedro Sula, with no immediate sign of serious flooding. Tropical Storm Sara was forecast to drop 10 to 20 inches of rain, with up to 30 inches in isolated areas of northern Honduras. The heavy rain could lead to life-threatening flooding and landslides, according to the Miami-based National Hurricane Center. The weather system made landfall late Thursday about 105 miles west-northwest of Cabo Gracias a Dios, on the Honduras-Nicaragua border, the center reported. That is near Brus Laguna, a village of about 13,000 inhabitants. There are few other areas of population nearby. In November 2020, Ada and Iota passed through Honduras after initially making landfall in Nicaragua as powerful category for hurricanes. Northern Honduras caught the worst of the storms with torrential rains that set off flooding that displaced hundreds of thousands. Ada alone was responsible for as much as 30 inches of rain along the northern coast. Sarah moved back out into the Caribbean overnight and by Friday morning was located just south of the island of Roten, a small-scale tourism destination. In its latest update, the Hurricane Center said the storm was located about 170 miles southeast of Belize City and was moving west at 2 miles per hour, with maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour. Sarah was expected to continue to slow and then possibly strengthen slightly, but remain roughly on that path and threaten Belize's coast over the weekend. El desplazamiento lo va a hacer hacia el noroeste, a este punto, a este punto, pero cuando esté aquí en la, eh, y va a impactar a Belice con tormenta tropical, pero ya cuando esté adentro. La zona occidental del país recibiendo algunas cantidades de lluvias entre 15 a 20 milímetros, pero la mayor cantidad de lluvias y precipitaciones que esperamos van a ser en el departamento de Colón, Atlántida y en su medida el departamento de Cortés, hablando cerca de unos eh, eh, 20, eh, 20, 30, 40, hasta 50 milímetros aproximadamente. Donde sí hemos tenido condiciones de, eh, eh, de comunidades incomunicadas es entre Colón y Atlántida. Tenemos 74 también personas albergadas en el departamento de Colón y un total de 587 familias afectadas debido a la tormenta tropical Sara, que nos va a seguir dejando lluvias para las próximas 48 horas. Typhoon Usagi swamped rural villages in floods, knocked down power and displaced thousands more people before blowing away on Friday from the northern Philippines, which has now been pounded by five major storms in less than a month. A new storm in the Pacific could strengthen into a powerful typhoon before hitting the Philippine archipelago on Sunday, according to state forecasters. There were no immediate reports of casualties from the onslaught caused by Usagi 
which was blowing toward southern Taiwan on Friday. In Kagayan province in the northernmost tip of the main Luzon region, a key concrete bridge connecting two towns partly collapsed Thursday after logs swept by rampaging river currents smashed into it. Several other bridges were engulfed in floodwaters and were unusable, provincial officials said. Usagi made landfall in the northeastern Philippines on Thursday, just two days after the last typhoon, Taraji, exited after setting off floods and forcing more than 82,500 people to flee from their homes in northern provinces. Many of the displaced were still in emergency shelters when Usagi hit, according to welfare officials, who have scrambled to transport large numbers of food packs and other aid to more than 300 evacuation centers as the back-to-back -back storms and typhoons lashed the region. The government has struggled to deal with the impact of the multiple storms, which left at least 160 people dead, displaced more than 9 million others and devastated farmland and infrastructure, mostly in Luzon. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. S. administration has spent more than 1 billion pesos for food and other aid for hundreds of thousands of storm victims, Welfare Assistant Secretary Irene Dumlau said. Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro, who oversees disaster response efforts, sought the help of neighboring countries, including Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia and Brunei, in providing additional aircraft to transport food, water and other aid to villages isolated by the storms.